And if you're someone who feels stuck in a rut and is looking for a change, then this song was definitely written for you. Escape As far away as you could ever know I've decided to celebrate Australia Day with my favourite song from Aussie band Powderfinger and I'm going to do it on my brand new carbon fibre guitar. If you want to know more about this guitar, check the link out above. Look, I'm not sure what level guitarist you're at, but if you're anything like me, I found some parts of this song easy and some parts of it quite hard. So here are the easy bits. There's eight chords to this song all pretty standard. The chords are the chords. If you're a beginner, there's a few bar chords in there. So treat this song like your bar chord masterclass practice. Just quickly. A minor, A sharp, C, D minor, and E, and F, and F major 7, my favorite chord. And then a G, which I play sometimes bar, or I play open. And yes, my guitar is upside down, but don't get freaked out. I've just got the same challenges. I gotta get my chord fingers on the right strings in the right place, just like you do. It's all muscle memory. So if you really wanna know why I play a guitar upside down, then check that video up up there. It'll explain a lot, and you'll realize there's a lot more of us out there than you think. And if you just wanna know the key ingredients to the song, then just download the free song sheet. It's on my Patreon page. It's got the chords and lyrics, everything you need to know how to play this song. And a big shout out to my Patreons. Thanks for supporting me. You guys rock. Right, the strum to the song is pretty much the same for the verse and the chorus. It's a gentle flowing strum. It basically goes like this. You hold so tight until you love the show. So let's just recap the very opening phrase of the song where I'm on the F and I'm going to transition to the A minor but I'm going to go via a single open note on the fat E string. So I'm forming the F and then I take the bar off the F just for that one note where I hit the bass E string. And then I transition straight to the A minor. F Open E to an A minor to a D minor. pre-chorus which is an E and an F major 7 and you can just do little quick down strums focusing on the middle strings first The other way you could do it is actually pick the strings, and that's how they do it on the original, where I'm forming the E chord, and I'm going to be picking the D, G, B, G, D, all right? D, G, B, G. Then I move to the F major 7. E. And then to the E. Seven. Straight to the chorus. Right, the chorus is where it picks up a bit of tempo and a bit of oomph. A minor, F and G. And it's pretty much the same strumming pattern as the verse. Down, 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 up, up, down, down. If you want to be a passenger. Down, 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 up, up, down. Now the outro is an extension of the chorus where you're just throwing in a couple of extra chords that are on the song sheet as I mentioned below, link below. A minor C, G, G, C, to an E. If you want a passenger, go do that over and over and over again until your voice is hoarse and hey if you're looking for an instant song repertoire with some well-known but little left of center songs then make sure you download my free songbook the link will be in the description below all it'll cost you is a valid email address and I don't spam. As you can see, learning a song in under five minutes is doable. That's why you definitely get some value out of my five minute guitar lesson playlist. Check it out now. 